Panda Pandas, it's Tenny Panda Girl again, and I'm here to show you a video on how to make a Valentine's Day week. So I'm sorry about not being able to do videos recently because I've been in Europe, but now I'm back in the US, and so I'm gonna show you how to make this week. So the items you're going to be needing is a whole punch of, a bunch of coffee filters, mm -hmm. You're going to need a X-Acto knife. Children, if you need um, if you need to use this, then ask a parent or adult to help you use this uh, fabric scissors because I'm going to be using yarn to hang this wreath. You need yarn or some kind of rope just to hang. It doesn't matter what kind, but I chose red because this is a Valentine's Day wreath. Uh, food coloring, I, and you don't need a paintbrush. I just used it to mi mix the food coloring. I also added some water, and you don't need precise measurements. Just make as many, make as much as you need. You're also going to need some strong tape. I am just using regular scotch tape. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a coffee filter, just make it sort of in a pine tree shape, like this. You're gonna take the food coloring after you mix it. And if you want the color I get, just add three drops of red food coloring and two drops of yellow. And then dip it and wipe it to the side to make sure all the excess food coloring um, gets taken off. But to be safe, I let it uh, dry overnight. And so, for the heart, Take your X-Acto knife and cut it out with a big cardboard um, box. You can use a cardboard box and cut it into a heart. And then take out the middle. So you're going to cut out here and inside here. Now here, this is what you have. At, well, you don't have holes, but you make the holes after you cut it out. You can use a hole puncher or you can just take a screwdriver and poke holes into it. And you can maybe space them around half an inch apart. After your coffee filters are dry, you take your coffee filter and twist the end. And then you can stick it inside the hole and then you can push too, like that. See? And so I'm just going to do that all over my height and I'll um, see you after I do it. And there. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you're done. It's beautiful. <laughs> so this does take a lot of patience, and luckily I had my helpers, my mom, my brothers, and yeah, my brothers to help me. If you don't have enough, you don't need to fill in all the holes. As you can see, I didn't fill in all the holes. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your wreath, put it down so the flowers are upside down, and you're going to take your tape. Well, first push them all down so they are sideways, like this. After you push them all down, you're going to take your tape and then tape them down to make sure that they uh, they won't go anywhere, they won't fall off or anything. Okay, and the last one goes right there. So there. So remember, you just need to push these pointing pieces, like the ones that are pointing up, Push them down with some tape. Make sure that you push it extra hard so the tape stays on. Hopefully it'll stay for maybe some years. Just hopefully. Okay, so now what you need to do is get your yarn ready. And this is going to be um, taped on so you can hang it on maybe your door or what. Wherever you want to hang it up, maybe inside your house on the wall or something. This much. There we go. Like about this much will be fine. And then where did I put that tape? And so just take some tape and tape your string onto the cardboard. The tape. So maybe the simplest part. Try and make it as even as possible, or else it might hang crooked. There you have it. This is what you come up with. It's so pretty.